welcome back to Renewable Energy Investments in 2021. So we had an absolutely phenomenal 2020 from an investing perspective. And I just want to take a minute to thank each and every one of my viewers for your continuing support. I could not be more happy with this channel's first year. Your comments, stock suggestions, and input has been invaluable. And for this, I thank you. I hope that you have found my videos to be entertaining and or educational. Okay, so in this video, I'll be reflecting on what went well during 2020, our biggest hits and misses with stock picking, and then I'll lay the groundwork for our strategy moving forward into 2021. Let's get started right now. What went well? First and foremost, our overall macro strategy of investing in climate change and renewable energy stocks went amazing. Last year, I started this investing channel to document my strategy and journey of investing in renewable energy stocks. As I looked at the upcoming decade and acknowledged the enormous problems society was facing in climate change, I realized that with every big problem comes an equally massive opportunity. With over a decade of massive growth in renewables on the horizon, and a U.S. election poised to shine light on said opportunity just around the corner, I decided 2020 was the year to go pretty heavy on renewable energy stocks. And oh boy, did we hit this nail on the head. Aided by massive stimulus packages, low interest rates, fear of inflation, and a Biden camp victory, these renewable energy growth stocks pretty much all took off like a rocket. We bought in extremely heavy to our highest conviction stock all year long, Tesla stock, and so far have been handsomely rewarded for doing so. Along the way, we also sprinkled in smaller bets amongst a number of other renewable energy stocks, both industry leaders and more speculative high-risk plays. Now, we have positions spread all across the sector in stocks like Enphase, Solar Edge, Brookfield Renewable Corp, CleanSpark, NextEra, Meyer Burger, Beyond Meat, and Workhorse. Pretty much all of them have performed extremely well this year. Finally, we got involved with SPACs and bought into many clean energy SPACs very early on. So far, we have done amazing with our SPAC plays, including Hylion, MP Materials, QuantumScape, and STEM Inc. Our biggest miss. Our biggest miss in 2020 was not opening a position in plug power. Although we are still not convinced hydrogen will become a massive widespread success over the long term, I have to admit, plug power's execution in 2020 exceeded my expectations, and, in retrospect, Plug Power was at least worthy of a small speculative investment play. I'm still not convinced that hydrogen is a compelling energy solution, given that, overall, it is much less efficient as an energy storage mechanism than batteries. Plus, battery technology is improving rapidly. However, I overlooked that hydrogen may be a compelling solution for certain niche uses like drones and forklifts. Hydrogen could have at least some role to play in the overall energy infrastructure of the future, primarily due to its favorable energy density. We ended up waiting for a crash in plug power stock before we would buy in, but the crash simply never came and we never opened up a position. Congratulations to the plug power management team for an excellent year of execution and any plug power shareholders who were able to ride this stock's rise. With that said, Plug stock is certainly a roller coaster, and there may be plenty of volatility ahead. My strategy for 2021. Let's be honest, stock prices are not cheap. In fact, they're rather expensive at the moment. But nonetheless, with the Fed signaling we should not expect significantly higher interest rates for years, it still may pay to be long equities. This creates quite the dichotomy and makes it quite hard for me to game plan for 2021. I will probably be much less aggressive in my buying during 2021 than I was in 2020. My main strategy for 2021 is to be flexible enough to take advantage of what the defense gives me. 
If Mr. Market charges too much for renewable energy stocks, but underprices other sectors, I'll take whatever Mr. Market throws my way. Last year, renewables seemed significantly undervalued. During 2020, the market finally appreciated the tremendous growth opportunity that the renewable energy sector was likely to enjoy over the next decade, and finally began pricing in this growth. As a result, we see significantly less upside going forward and significantly more risk due to the higher stock prices. But with that said, the future of renewable energy still appears bright. I anticipate the sector enjoying tailwinds for the next decade. It's just that I'll have to be much more selective in my search for stocks as deals become harder and harder to find. With that said, I'll always be on the lookout for wonderful renewable energy stocks. But to add some balance to my portfolio in 2021, I will likely look to pick up stocks outside of the renewables sector. Because of the success we had in 2020, renewables currently comprise an oversized portion of my portfolio, and a bit of diversification across industries would be a healthy addition. Then we have SPACs. What can I say? They treated us fabulously in 2020. And, until I have reason to believe I will have less success with them going forward, I see no reason to stop selectively buying high-quality SPACs with high-quality sponsors. SPACs are currently hot and trendy. Some of them are breeding grounds for speculators and short-term traders, and they are inherently risky. But with interest rates forcing investors towards growth companies, SPACs just might continue to provide great returns to those who get in early and are willing to take some profits when stock prices rise too high too fast. Fingers crossed that SPACs don't end up burning me in 2021. What is your investing strategy for 2021? Let me know in that comment section below. Do you think there is room for renewables to soar higher? Are there any other sectors that you believe will outperform the market? Are there any specific stocks on your radar? Hopefully, we can find the next Tesla for 2021. Or maybe, Tesla is the next Tesla for 2021. Once again, thanks for following along with my investing journey and contributing so many great ideas. I could not have had this much success without all of your help. As always, thanks for watching. Invest safe and have a fantastic day.